First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakal Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to Yaakim and Yaakwat that believe in all sincerity. So, as you see here, I have a picture, okay, of a brick and a sponge, okay? The brick signifies arrogance and the sponge, humility. Okay, and water is being poured on both, but only the sponge is absorbing it. Okay, and um, as you see here, the water is a uh, life experience, but <clears throat> you know, we can liken that water to uh, the truth. You know, <clears throat> we must be like the sponge and have humility, okay, and absorb what it is that is being taught to us. Okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, you know, and oftentimes, you know, we can be like bricks, okay, obstinate and not, you know, take heed to uh, instruction, okay, and what is uh, the spirit trying to tell us, okay, you know, what is Yahweh Shem Shai trying to tell us, okay, so I want to get a couple scriptures Okay, this is another edition of comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Lord willing, this is edifying. But let's start here. This is Proverbs 8 and 13. This is the fear of Yahweh by Shem Shai is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. So that's the fear of the Lord. That's how you fear Yahweh by Shem Shai by hating evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth. Okay, that's what the Lord hates. Now let's look up this word, arrogancy. Strong's H, 1347. Gaon. 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 Right. Exaltation. Majesty, pride. And down here it says what? Pride, arrogance. Okay. In a bad sense. Now, I looked up arrogance in the... Uh, at them online it says a manifest feeling of superiority of one's worth or importance combined with contempt of others okay and we don't want that spirit to be on us we don't want that spirit okay of superiority of one's worth or importance we don't you know scripture say if any man think of himself um um matter of fact <clears throat> See if I can get it. If any man think himself more highly than he ought to think. This is first Corinthians eight and two. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. Okay? So if we you know, if a man thinks that he knows anything, he knows nothing yet as he ought to know. See, because you're always uh, learning in this truth, okay? You can never say that you know it all, okay? Because there's there's many uh, levels of wisdom, okay? So, going back to arrogance, uh, it says, combined with contempt of others, Presumption, pride, haughtiness, okay, pride, okay, assuming, overbearing, okay, so you get the point, man, you know, you know it, it's, it's uh, feeling that you're superior, you know, you're worth more, you're more important, you know, you know, and it boils down to pride, okay. So the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, is is really uh, being humble because the Lord can work with the man who's humble, and um, you know, oftentimes I find myself praying for a a humble spirit, you know, having humility, as well as uh, other brothers, you know, uh, that's what a sincere man would do is pray for humility, you know. The scriptures say, "The greater the art, the more humble thyself." So. You know, and, and we, what does the scripture say? Okay, uh, secrets are shown unto the meek. You know, meek is synonymous with being, uh, um, having humility. Okay. 
This is a Proverbs 29 and 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. You see, a man's pride will eventually bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Okay, so we want to be humble, man, in our spirit, because, you know, truth be told, you know, we, we, uh, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're in the flesh, man, you know, I mean, we're learning, you know, we're constantly learning, you know, we're, we're trying to be made perfect. So we always have to add that key, uh, ingredient of humility, man. All right, <clears throat> so lock in. Let's see. So I bought a, I got a couple of scriptures, Lord willing, to convey that message. But um, again, here's that picture: arrogance. You know, having disdain for others while you're thinking that you're, um, you know, something more than what you really are. Okay, and we, you know, we all must guard from that. Okay, but when you have humility, you're just soaking it all up. You know, you're just learning, you know, you're you're just trying to be better. You're just uh, doing the best you can, knowing that you're a servant, you know, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, but let's get this. This is, uh, we'll start here. Zechariah 7 and 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Okay, and that's uh, something that I get from this picture, man, you know. You see the, the water being poured on the brick. That's total refusing, you know. Let's read this again. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear while the sponge is soaking it up. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, you see. You know, our heart or our mind shouldn't be as an adamant stone. Lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from Yahweh of hosts. And that's what happened to our people. You know, a wrath from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai came upon the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. And, and, and you know, that's, that's why we're under curses. Because we made our hearts as an adamant stone. Okay. Not wanting to hear, okay, what the prophets uh, said. You know, it says, it says, and the words which Yahweh of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets, therefore came a great wrath from Yahweh of hosts. Therefore, it has it come to pass that as he cried, that they would not hear. So they cried, and I would not hear, say Yahweh of hosts. But I scattered them with the whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. And that's what happened to Israel. Israel was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay? Because the Lord cried, and Israel would not hear. Okay? So they cried, and I would not hear. So the Heavenly Father, okay, is uh, ultimately, you know, Letting us go through this punishment, okay? Because we made our hearts as an adamant stone, you know? And your heart could be likened to your mind. It also could be, like, you know, it also could be speaking about, you know, just the inward part of Jake, man. Because, you know, your heart is your, as it says here. Strong's H3820. Lave. 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 Right. Inner man, mind, will, heart, understanding. Heart of man soul you know to the core of jake it's just hard okay <clears throat> you know, we have that potential you know truth be told what does it say here mind knowledge thinking reflection memory inclination resolution conscious okay seed of appetites ace as seed of emotions and passions you see so the very core of israel is is to have an adamant stone of a heart Okay, and that's why we're under curses. You see, it says, uh, you know, the Lord's not not hearing. Okay, till the till the uh, the uh, the punishment be accomplished. Okay, and that's why the Heavenly Father's, um, you know, giving us this truth. He's he's you know turning the captivity around, and we're starting to 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 listen. 
you know, and that's that's what that's why we have to be like this sponge, man. Have humility, knowing that uh, our righteousness are as filthy rags, knowing that, uh, you know, we we uh, you know, we had to, uh, you know, basically be born again. OK. <clears throat> Let's see. This is Micah 6 and 8. He has shewed thee, O man, what is good and what the Yahweh require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy power. Okay? We have to walk humbly with Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay? Let's, let's look at this word. Humility. Humility. Quality of being humble, you see? So it's synonymous with uh, being humble. Okay? Humility, modesty, sweetness, lowness, small, stature, insignificance, baseness, littleness of mind, right? As opposed to uh, arrogant, right? What is arrogant? Uh, it was, you know, having more importance of oneself. But when you have humility, you have littleness of mind. You know, you're not thinking that you're that guy. Okay? You're being humble. You know, <clears throat> you know, humility, being humble, absorbs, soaks it in, learns from mistakes, moves on. That's that's what we have to be. But when we're like a brick, when we're arrogant, you know, hey, the Lord hates that, man. The scriptures say the Lord know what the, the, the proud are far off. We want the Heavenly Father to sup with us. OK, make his abode with us. Yeah, how about Shimei Oshai, right? So, let's go back. This is Micah 6 and uh, 7, 9. Yahweh's voice, no. We'll go back to 8. He has shewed thee, O man, what is good, and what the Yahweh by Shemiah Shai require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy power. That's what we have to do, man. Okay, be just, be merciful, and to walk humbly with Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. That's important, to be humble. To have humility, you know. The scriptures say, "Be covered in humility. Be, cl be clothed with humility, man." You know. Let's go to uh, Isaiah, and then then I'll end it out. Right, well, this is edifying. It says, "Uh, Isaiah," and at the the heading is, "Let us reason." Okay, it says, Come now and let us reason together, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And that's why we have to humili be, uh, have humility, you know, knowing where we, we come from. Okay, but, but you know, our, our minds are now being washed. Okay, and now we have to have a pure conscience. Those things, you know, hey, you're a new man. Okay, you're soaking it up, you're being reborn. Okay, putting off the old man, you know, desiring to learn more, seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushai more, you know, praying that we be not as this adamant stone, as this brick. You know, scriptures speak about um, breaking up the fallow ground. How about that? Now, we read that the, uh, um, you know, we read about the inner man. Okay, we read about the inner man, the seats and the passions. Okay, we don't want to be, you know, hardened to the core. And the scriptures say, uh, uh, many are hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Okay, sin can, you know, beguile you into thinking that you're doing the right thing. I mean, the scriptures speak about the, tr the, tr uh, the wiles of the devil, you know, Satan, you know, uh, tricking you into thinking that what you're doing is right when really it's sin. And you become hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. So we have to what? Hosea 10 and 12. <clears throat> so, so to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground for it is time to seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushai till he come and rain righteousness upon you. You see? You see, break up your fallow ground. And that's the point. Break up your fallow ground. Let's see, fallow ground. Mm -hmm.
Strong's H, 5215. Nia. Nia. Tillable or untilled or Second entry. Nia. Excuse me. Nia. Tillable or untilled or fallow ground. Let's look up this word. Fallow. Fallow. Fallow land. Break up ground. Hmm. Fallow. Let's see. Un uh, adjective number one. A farmland plowed and harrowed but left unsown for a period in order to restore its fertility as a part of a crop rotation or to avoid surplus production. Some of the uh, synonyms is uncultivated, unplowed, untilled, unplanted, unsown, unseeded, unused, undeveloped, dormant, resting, empty, bare, virgin, neglected, untended. Right. Yeah. Let's see. I'm cultivated. Yeah, we want to be cultivated, man. You know? Yeah, we don't want to be unseasoned. We don't want to be, you know, unusable. Okay. Unused, unplanted, untilled. Ah. Wow. Okay, NLT. I said, plant the good seeds of righteousness and your harvest uh, crop of love. Plow up the hard ground of your hearts. Plow up the hard ground of your hearts. You, when, when you plow, you you know you break up the ground. You break it up because it's hard. You gotta you gotta break up the dirt so you can put seeds, man. You know, we can't be you know. Like an adamant stone, we can't be hard, arrogant, prideful. You know, we have to have humility, like a sun, a sponge, soaking it up, learning the truth, admitting our flaws, admitting our weaknesses, admitting that we can do better, doing better. You know, taking accountability, all those positive things. NLT. I said, plant the good seeds of righteousness, and you will harvest a crop of love. Plow up the hard ground of your hearts. For now, it is time to seek Yahweh. That he may come and shower righteousness upon you. You see? Beautiful. Okay. Now going back. <clears throat> uh, Isaiah 1 and 18. Come now and let us reason together. Say it to Yahweh. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. You see? If ye be willing and obedient... Okay, we have to be like that sponge. It, it looks willing and obedient to soak up that water. And the, this truth is likened unto water. It says life experience. But really, in this life, we're experiencing having this truth, this knowledge. Okay, but the brick is just becoming a puddle all around. It's not absorbing it, right? If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel... Ye shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of Yahweh. Bashim Yashai has spoken it. Okay, so Lord willing, the point was made. It's another edition of comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to Yahweh and Yahweh to believe in all sincerity. Shalom.